I heard you were looking for information on the smudge tool. In that case, you come to the right place. Today we're going to learn about the smudge tool in Sketchable app. This is digital drawing in Sketchable with DTM. That's me. I'm a 2D illustrator and I'm here to walk you through the smudge tool in Sketchable app. Let's get started by opening the Sketchable app available from the Microsoft Store on all Windows 10 devices. Oh yes, this is what I love to do. Digital drawing. So what is the smudge tool? Well, some people say it's called a tortillon. I don't know if I'm spelling it right. Here's a variable blender. Here is Don's blender. I don't know who Don is. Who is Don? Don's blender too. And so it is the last tool here in the list of tools on the bottom of your screen. And uh, it's amazing. It's really great. It's amazing because then you can make really funky looking stuff. So right now, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but that's crazy. Go back. Let me make a new layer. Boom. Let's go ahead and draw some colors with a different tool. Let's go here with this brush. Um, let's do it the first one. Okay, good, good, good. So let's go ahead and fill in some spots right here, all right? And I want a darker spot right here. Now I'll get my smudge tool and slowly smudge it up. Whoa, that was a lot. Let's go back. Let's make that smaller. There we go. And you can see the range of your smudge tool and how it's gonna work. Oh yeah, yes, there you go, look at that. Nice! <laughs> so what do these other ones do? Okay, there we go, smooth it out, yo, smooth it out. And then number two, smooth it out some more. Oh, oh yes, that's extra texture, I see that. Let me go back. There it is, there it is. And so if I go back to one of my other tools, let's go here. Mm -hmm. I can slowly add to this. There it is. There it is. Then back. And yeah, let's try that. Uh-huh. This one's too much. They all have different settings. There it is. Oh, yeah. And so now, really, what I wanted to do was kind of make that smaller. Ooh. Yes, yeah, and see how that reacts. So then it's got like little, yeah, look at that. I could sit here and smudge in a little bit of the detail just to get the effect that I want. Bring it out. I guess I could bring this out. Mm hmm. But now this sits inside of my drawing. Let me see, move these layers, go here and there. And uh, the multiply, turn that back up and see now it becomes part of the drawing right there. So let's go ahead and fill that in again. Mm -hmm. Bang. Darken it up right there to this side. Got it. Then now I need the other color. Let's get my uh, eyedropper tool. Boom, here it is. Okay, now fill that in. And so like in some parts of a drawing, you may want a, a, a blend. Oh, and uh, I'm gonna slowly build out that drawing. There we go, get that blend going, nice. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Oh yeah. <laughs> and of course, you know, I get my eraser and then uh, I can erase the edges that I don't want. And it looks so smooth. Mm-hmm. Mm 
Nice. Nice. Get back to my smudge tool. What is a tortillon? Tortillon is the original smudge um, tool that uh, is, is a little piece of paper that's wrapped up and you can sit there and smudge your drawing. Nice, there it is. Got it, got it. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Wow, get me some white. Boom. Mm, no, too big, too big. Mm hmm. Smudge tool. There. You know, I seen I seen artists get down with this um, with some of these tools, and it's amazing the artwork they come up with. And it's like, do I have the patience for that? Oof, I don't know. But that's awesome. I like that. Oh, that's great. That is great. Of course, we have our tools just like uh, on every, our, our tool settings, just like in every other tool here on Sketchable. And uh, so the name is called Variable Blender. And I'm going to call it number two just for now. Enter uh, texture. What's up with texture? Let's get some texture going on. Ooh, that means we got this uh, texture down here. Look at that. Bam. Well, I want to try that one. And so now it should, and it's probably not going to be a whole lot of difference in this one because uh, I already got a lot of blending going on. But it should show us some of the. <laughs> it does look different right here. I noticed that. There we go. Bring that back. Come on. There we go. Oh, snap. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't, can't do the white. There's no color. I don't think it's about the color when you're on this tool. It's about the blending of the colors that you've already laid down. Yeah. Very nice. I think it's gonna take a lot of experimentation to actually see some differences, um, but there is plenty to go around. The range, the start angle, oh yeah. And uh, penetration, stroke opacity, I kind of, clicked on something I clicked on the little uh, bar here there's a ton of things that we can adjust then make this brush really unique and make it yours so go ahead and try it try it and see what happens there it is let's go please let me know what you think about the tool the smudge tool why do they call it tortillon is it is tortillon yeah tortillon that's that's weird uh, <laughs> and how do you get, how are you going to use it in your drawings? All right. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. This is digital drawing and sketchable with DTM. And I hope that today's tips are helpful in expanding your digital drawing creativity. Please share, like, and subscribe for more sketchable insights until next time. Thank you.